Welcome everyone to today's video. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov from the Dimitrov Boulay Piano Duo and today I'm going to vlog a little part of my practice. I'm going to vlog a section from this beautiful polonaise by Chopin which starts like this. you know it. It's a very popular one, it's a very loved polonaise and I'm going to practice a little bit. Now, I'm not going to practice the beginning because there was a section which needed more work because I like to divide my practice and practice the sections that need more work more often than the other sections. So there is one section that starts like this. That's in the, yeah, you will see actually in the score bar 25 is where that section starts. And I want to work specifically on these arpeggios. Because I want to follow the beautiful melody you can hear, you have. arpeggios going up, they're supposed to be very quick and very light. And I noticed, because the piece, I haven't practiced it really a long time, I noticed very often in my practice before I actually put the camera on, I noticed several times that I'm doing them a little bit too heavy. And you don't want this kind of sound, you want something like... You want to hear the, the beginning note, the first note, and the last note, then the next arpeggio, then so that's what I want to get. Now what I'm going to do is, yeah, you will just follow. I always practice combine slow, slower practice with faster practice. in a faster tempo but not in the real tempo that I want to reach, not where my goal is, a little bit slower than that. So I'm happy with this to a certain degree, <laughs> never really happy fully, but that's very normal. And I want to tell you, all our students that are watching and those of you who are not our students, don't be frustrated that it's not perfect because you are never going to feel that it's perfect because you will always get better and you will always want more. So don't be annoyed at the results that you're getting and think that they're not good enough or they're not big enough. Now, I have to check something. I'll try to explain to you what, what I'm looking for and what I find difficult. If you look at the passage, you will see that there is an accent on the first note of the right hand. You have this accent, and then you, you have a crescendo towards the upper note. Now, I don't like doing really the crescendo. Maybe within the last few notes, I do a crescendo. But what I try actually to do, if you practice this piece, because there are a lot of people who love practicing this piece, or if you practice something similar, I'm trying to achieve that I get the accent on the first note, then relax my hand and play light until the top note, and then I hit the note that's on top a little bit more. Now, 
the, the reason I'm doing this is because what, like I said earlier, you don't want this passage to become, this arpeggio to become heavy because you want to have lightness. And also, if you play heavy, the piece becomes very heavy. You will see how it drags on. It becomes really powerful. And when you play the small notes of the arpeggio heavy, the whole piece becomes heavy. You start playing louder and louder. And at some point you will start getting stiff. The music won't sound good, but you also won't feel good. And I noticed when I'm when I was practicing earlier that every time I do this, I start playing too loud, way too soon. The piece becomes not so beautiful in my in my ears, and I also my hands really feel stiff, and I don't feel that I can control even the passage. When you play very heavy, you will see that you lose control, um, you lose control of your passages. So my goal is. one and then the next one see here I can be influenced by the left hand because the left hand starts having actually sforzato so I have to control play loud the left hand but not the notes of the arpeggio of the right hand and so that's what's generally so make sure that you prioritize in piano playing you have a lot of different notes a lot of different voices you need to know you need to study very well if you have a good teacher he can explain or she can explain to you what's the main thing and what's secondary what you need to follow once you understand that you will know how to work on passages so in this case even though you have a lot of notes you need to understand what the main notes are and i will remove the arpeggio and you'll hear something actually interesting you see that's actually the structure of the piece and the next one A regular, quite a regular sentence if you think about it, you hear a very regular rhythm. Now what's in between is what can interrupt all this regular flow. And so what I want to achieve is to have the same, the same group of notes and now with the arpeggio If I have to think to offer you something very practical, because I would practice probably in a little bit different way than you would have to practice, it all depends on your level, I would say do it very easy, do it very relaxed, take your time, play the first note a little bit louder, then light the arpeggio, and the last note louder. So loud, then I'll go to the next arpeggio, the first note a little bit more, left hand a little bit more, then light until the last note. I would say this is a very practical and very useful way to practice this until you get used to. Don't make the mistake to go faster and faster. You will not be able to hear that how, how, how soft you're playing the arpeggio. You'll not be able to hear, you'll not be able to calculate and see which notes are more important and less important. Before we finish, I want to play just for my own pleasure and perhaps for your pleasure, I want to play a little bit further for some inspiration for my later, later practice. <laughs>
it, right? I don't need to work on this. It's absolutely, I pray it, absolutely brilliant. But I'm absolutely sure that you will need to practice this. Now, jokes aside, I hope that you learn something and because I, what I'm telling you, I really apply also in my practice. And I share with you really what's going on in my head, what, what we do also when we record something with Elvira, we do the same. We always try to be very relevant with what we are thinking at this moment, what we're working on really. We never offer you something that we don't do. Um, sometimes, of course, our practice is a little different because, like I said, when depending on the level you are at, you practice a little bit in different ways. But we do apply absolutely everything we're talking about in general. Um, what else? I We would appreciate if you like the video and of course to subscribe to our channel because that helps us enormously. Every subscriber that we get is, is of great help to us. We are on Instagram. We try to upload there very regularly. On Facebook you can find us. On TikTok you can find us. Wherever you are, we're probably there. Thank you so much for watching this video and by the way, if there is a piece that you are playing and you want an advice on that piece or a particular section, just send us a comment under and we're going to try our best to fit that into our schedule and record a video with the question that you are having. So that will be a great way that we communicate with each other. Thank you so much for watching this video, for me recording it for you. It was a great pleasure and see you next time.